Here's what's making cannabis headlines this Monday, October 7th, 2019. Halo Labs has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire all of the common shares of CanPost services. Halo will pay CanPost $4.69 million in common shares at a deemed price of $0.26 cents per share and $1.25 million performance warrants. CanPost is a software company that is developing an application to alleviate customer flow constraints currently experienced by dispensaries enabling customers to electronically interact with dispensaries, thereby reducing wait times and improving customer experience. Alifia Health has completed the construction of its Paris Processing Facility's Phase 2 expansion and secured full-site occupancy. The Paris Phase 2 expansion is a 30,000 square foot facility entirely dedicated to the extraction, production, packaging, and distribution of cannabis health and wellness products. Emerald Health Therapeutics' wholly owned cannabis production facility, Verdelay, in Saint Eustache, Quebec, has received from Health Canada a license amendment for the complete growing and processing area in its 88,000 square foot indoor facility. The additional 50,000 square feet will allow Verdelay to expand production from 4 to 21 controlled environment grow rooms and to a total of 16 processing rooms. Planting in the newly licensed area is starting immediately, with the plan focused on having the expanded facility fully planted in eight weeks. Gabby Inc. has issued an aggregate of 4.15 million options to seven directors, officers and employees and 1.74 million options to four consultants of the company under the company's stock option plan. Each option is exercisable for a common share in the capital of the company at an exercise price of 28 cents per share, with vesting terms between three and five years. Harvest One Cannabis has received a cultivation license from Health Canada for phase one of its new Mission Road facility. The license allows its wholly owned subsidiary, United Greeneries, to immediately begin to cultivate cannabis in the new Mission Road facility. Once fully complete, the Mission Road facility will triple the production capacity in Duncan and increase operational efficiency. Plus Products announced the launch of its gummies into the Nevada market. The products are manufactured through the company's partnership with Taproot Holdings, a vertically integrated cannabis company operating cultivation and manufacturing facilities in Las Vegas, Nevada. Commercialization comes just four months after PLUS and Taproot entered into definitive agreement. TerraScent has received approval from Health Canada for a significant expansion at its facility in Mississauga, Ontario. This approval increases license space at the Mississauga facility nearly threefold from 17,800 square feet to 51,800 square feet, and includes includes additional cultivation capacity, a commercial kitchen, formulation rooms, and increased primary and secondary packaging capacity. And that's your news for today. To keep up to date with all things cannabis, visit the Cannabis Daily on MidasLetter.com.